Welcome to WRC 5 guys, it is returned, it is the career for season number 4 and we're here, well for the first rally of season 4 like I said here in Monte Carlo for the, well Rally Monte Carlo and uh, yeah we've, we've got a few stages and I just need to, well we've got 6 stages today and uh, yeah we've got a new, mo a new motorhome as you can see, oh, there's Yarimati Lavala and all that there. But anyway, yeah, there's we've got a new motorhome today. Well, this season, so it's looking good with this VW. So let's, get, without further ado, before I get on with the rally, I'm going to say there's a link down below in the description for the playlist, the entire playlist, so you can see every single... Oh, so I've just hit my microphone. So you can see every single rally this season and, well, across all the seasons that I've done. So let's get on with the first rally, guys. Here in Monte Carlo with our beautiful looking polo. Okay, so here we are for stage number one in the World Rally Championship. Is this our going to be our, well, our, you know, our attempt on the World Rally Championship? But we're finally going to have a chance to win and beat Sebastian Ogier this season. Because in the Hyundai, we did, we had an okay season. We didn't, it wasn't too good, but, uh, I feel like I can challenge Ogier this season in the same car, so... Well, I hope I can. But we're definitely going to have to, you know, push like hell. We cannot take anything for granted this season. We really cannot, so... Well, not that I would take anything for granted this season driving for VW for the first time in a career mode series. I believe on my channel it is. Oh, we hit the barrier. It's okay. I believe we hit that in the high Hyundai as well. So that was our first season in the WRC. So yeah, this is our second in the you know the, in the big leagues, of course. So a lot more is being expected of us this season. We're driving for VW. I think there's a few of you out there that, that would like to. Well, that you that think, well, say, that say I would be good enough to beat Ogier? I certainly hope so. You know, this season, it's a fresh new, brand new season. I hope we can do it. I really do. Okay, so, left too long. There's a helicopter there. Yeah, I knew it was that part of the circuit or that part of the stage, so. Got to be careful through here. Don't want to hit anything right four left two minus that's nice to there oh 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 we hit the barrier uh, a little bit but not too much of a problem so okay so we're coming to the end of the stage of the first well season four season four stage number one is complete uh, where did that put us? We're leading the rally by six tenths of a second over Thierry Nouvelle in a Hyundai. Yes, we. It's only stage one. Still four more to. Still well, five more to go after this. But it, it's looking good for us so far in our first stage with VW. We win it. So I will see you guys for stage number two. Okay, so here we are guys on the line for stage number two. After that fantastic first stage, we've had the car repaired. Not fully repaired, but we've had it repaired and we're underway for stage number two here in Rally Monte Carlo. It was that first stage, it wasn't perfect, but uh, personally for winning the stage it was perfect, but we not got off to that good of a start here in two. That's because we're on ice as well, I should have realised about that, but anyway... We have a chance this in this rally, well, before I keep going off there, but I do feel like I have a chance to win Monte Carlo for the first time in a long, well, first time, I believe, in this career mode, so. Left 2 plus, yeah, watch it through there, don't want to get it stuck on anything. We need the car to be a bit, you know, we need to look after the car a little as well, because with three stages in this day, we're not going to get to a service park for a while, so so we need to keep it steady, keep it steady, and try not to, you know, wreck the car. 
Okay, stage two seems a bit harder than the first one. Riding a bit of confidence from the first one, but we still need to... Still need to take care, you see, so... But this is a, traditionally a stage where we don't normally... You know, we're not normally quick, very quick on, are we? Um, well, yeah, we're not normally very quick on it, but uh, it doesn't mean that we're not going to be very quick on it, so... Okay, that's nice through there. Break, oh, I'm definitely wanting to break hard, so I don't need to go off into any any field and, you know... Well, I don't want to end up in a field, you see, in, in southern, su southern France. I don't know why I lost the ability to speak there, but... But okay, oh, don't, don't... We hit the barrier, we hit to pole, we, we're sliding. We're all over the place at the minute, okay, okay. Calm down, James. On to right three, yeah, we normally go... Isn't this normally a night stage as well? You know, for stage number two. It's weird, but anyway. And it's weird that we've not had any snow so far here in season four. Maybe this is our first... Not as first and only chance to win this rally, but... Uh, maybe it is our... Well, it's not going to be his only chance, I believe. I, I can be sure of that, so... Okay, through here, that's not bad through there. Well, it's not bad through there, but the car was a bit understeery, so... Get on the handbrake, the brakes at the same time, get the back end of the VW Polo spinning, well, sliding just as much as you would need. Final corner across the line. Now, I don't feel that was a win. I don't think it was. Yeah, 19 seconds off the pace. It's normally a bad stage for us. And we're down to 18th after the second stage. I know I said yes after the first one. This is a no. But yes, um... Stage 3 coming up, guys. Hopefully, it's going to be better than this. Maybe it will be. I don't know. Let's get it underway. Okay, so here we are. It's another difficult stage. I believe it might be a repeat of the first one that we've just had. Well, that one that we've just had. But anyway, let's get underway. Here in Rally Monte Carlo, stage number 3. It's still on ice and snow, so we still need to be very careful. Well, it's icy tarmac and, yeah, snow at times, so... Maybe Sweden. We're looking towards Sweden now already after stage number two, but uh, it's okay. For some reason, I've not been very good in that first uh, in that first stage. Well, that stage that we've just been on, so it's not a problem. Still plenty of uh, racing to well stages to go, rallying to go here this season and this rally. So left too short, but still I need to slow down for it because it's snowy. Right three, yeah, okay, oh, oh that's a, Did, is this a new stage, because I can't really, well, then again, I only really do it once, don't I, with the career mode, I don't really go back, do you, you don't really go back to any, any, uh, uh, st uh, countries, do you, for rallying in one season, so, oh, now I've found, figured out another problem here with this rally as well, that we're going to be facing tyres. Ooh, I was risking it. I was thought I could have gone a bit quicker through there. It turns out I couldn't, but uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, sliding. Okay, so... Go cut across there a little, but uh, it's not really helping us out too much, but... Uh, we need a rocket-powered VW uh, Polo to try and get towards the front. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I, I'm just looking towards a power stage win as well now. You know, that that's what I would like to get, some bonus point. Well, a, a point or two with a power stage, or maybe even three points, because you get three points for winning it, so... Right three. 
Oh, you can go a bit quick through there. That's nice. There we go. Crest, which means slow down. Okay, so we... The snow slowed us down there, which I'm not complaining about. I'm just happy that there was something to help us slow down across the line. Is it another bad stage? I think it could have been. It feels feels bad. Actually, no, it's not bad. We're six seconds off as Thierry Nouvelle is uh, making his inroads into the lead of Sebastian Auger, and we're still 18th. Okay, no, never mind. Thierry Nouvelle's up to fourth. Uh, Auger is dominating this rally. Stage four coming up. Can we actually catch anyone? Possibly. Okay, guys, here it is. Stage number four of Rally Monte Carlo. And, uh, yeah, it's a night race. That's perfect. It's a, well, it's a night stage, but anyway, I'm hoping... Hang on, this is a repeat of the first of that second one, wasn't it? Oh, boy. Right too closed, yeah. Take it steady through there. Don't want to go off hitting anything again. Yeah, this is a repeat of that uh, second stage where we ended up finishing 18 seconds off the lead, I believe it was. 18, 19 seconds, so... So, yeah. So, it's not going to be... It's not perfect, but... Uh, but at least we've won the first stage of the of the season. That, that, that was important as well, but... Uh, Rally Monte Carlo doesn't define a season. It helps towards winning a championship, but it doesn't define a season, so... And it's a classic rally, I'll give it that. I'll give it that, it's a classic rally, but... If you don't win in Monte Carlo, it don't mean you're not going to win the rally, so... I mean, I mean, the championship, so... We're looking at the bigger picture here. And we've got Sweden next as well, and... Uh, I traditionally did well in Sweden as we go... Well, very wide there, that's... Uh, didn't plan on that happening, but uh, it's okay. It did anyway, but we... We successfully survived it as we sliding through here now. Left too long. Can we keep it out of the barriers or out of the trees? I think we can. Yes, we can. Yeah, and well, considering this is, I'm recording this on the 27th of September. This is actually probably going to be overrunning as well with the WRC 6 career as well, so... Because there will be a WRC 6 career. That's out on 7th of October. I have pre-ordered it. I am waiting to get it. I may even live stream the same night that it's on, so... Well, that I get it, you know, the same day it's released. I think that's what I might do. I don't know when I'll be live streaming it, but I'm pretty sure I'll try as we... I never learned through there. I never learned. Can we get the car turning? Because I, I would prefer the car to turn a bit better than that. So, Okay, no. That's a bit too fast. I'd rather hit it with the back of the car rather than the front. So, Okay, I'd rather not hit it at all, to be fair. But, uh... Okay, stop hitting things, James. What's the back of the car look like? Oh, we still got his bumper on. That's good for us. Okay, so we, we're definitely pushing. We definitely want to, you know, climb through the standings around the final corner. Okay, so we across the line to finish stage number four, and we're going to finish last again. Yes, we are 19 seconds again off the pace, and we're down to 19th overall. Yeah, I'm not liking that stage. I don't know why, but uh, for some reason, I, I wasn't even that bad at it. There's, there's got to be something about that stage anyway, but uh, Auger continues to lead. Loeb's gone up to second, Meek third, Lavala fourth. Stage five is coming up right now. Okay, so here we are on the line for stage number five, 17.1 kilometers. It's a long stage. Thankfully, it's just full tarmac, and so is the final stage as well. So let's see if we can make some progress towards the front of the, f you know, well, we're not going to win the rally at this point, we, you know, stage five, we're 43 seconds off the lead, which you wouldn't think, but anyway, it wouldn't have been any different even if I stayed in the high Hyundai, so, we just need to try and work our way back towards the front, see what we can do, if we can win, great, if not, 
well, if we can get a power stage win, fantastic. If not, don't worry about it. But uh, Rally Monte Carlo is definitely proving a challenge for me. Uh, but if we do actually win it one day, it's going to be sweet. If we do actually win Rally Monte Carlo. At the end of the first sector, there's no update on time because, well, I don't know why. I still don't know why that's like that. Maybe, well, it, it does focus you because you don't know how well you're doing compared to the competition, so... That's why when I play Dirt Rally, you know, every now and then, uh, that's where, why I turn it off, so... Left 2 plus, we can go a bit quicker through there. Flat through there, that's nice. Through a tunnel, I remember these stages now. There's always a tunnel in Monte Carlo. Left too short. Oh, that's sweet through there. That's sweet. Left four short. Oh, there's a hairpin. Break, 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 break. Oh, is that the only? No, that won't be the only hairpin in Monaco. Um... Okay, so there's a junction now. Okay, I didn't, I did not know about that. Oh, yeah, this, this must be a different stage. Huh? This must be a different stage from what I'm used to being on. I don't. But like I say, it could be that the fact that Rally Monte Carlo is the first rally of the season, so. Okay, flat left into flat right. I'm going to record Sweden straight after this video as well, if it is Sweden. And if it's not, I'm still going to record it straight after anyway. Because I want to at least try and get a couple of rallies ahead before videos do go up, you know. Heaven right. Okay, there we go. That's sweet through there. We're coming into the hairpin sectors now. I, I, well, to be fair, with this stage, guys, well, not this stage, but yeah, if we do win this stage, guys, I hope it's by 43 seconds over Sebastian Auger, but, uh, no, I, I don't think it will be. I don't think you can win a rally stage by over 40 seconds on WRC 5, unless it's on the easiest difficulty, which this is not, of course. This is on the hardest difficulty you can get it. Left, okay, another junction. Can I get it turned in? Yes, I can. Left one plus. Okay, sweep through there. Oh. Happen right. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Something's happened. I don't know what it was. I think we went up on two wheels for a moment, but uh Okay, so round the final few corners, few hairpins to negotiate. Okay, across the well we're coming across the line, around the final corner, across the line. Stage number five complete here in Monte Carlo. What's that gonna be? It's a stage win. And Ogier finishes 1.3 seconds off. That's two this season that we've won. Uh, we moved up to 15th. Is it possible to get a, ten, a top 10? No. No, it's not possible to get in top 10. But uh, 14th might be his best. But considering how we did in the high under last season, I'll take it. Uh, yes, the final stage of the rally coming up right now. Okay, guys, here it is. It's a night stage. I don't know how it's going to go with a power, you know, power stage with it being a night stage as well. So, let's get underway. See if we can get any points from Monte Carlo. Like I said earlier on in the video, it's not the end of the rally or the end of the season if we don't score points here in Monte Carlo. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can at least try something brilliant. Of course, try and get to the top of the tables. You know, later on in the season. Because I don't think Auger is going to dominate every single rally this season. 
not like he did last, but uh, but then again, he's got a teammate that's, well, very quick. He, well, I'm not saying that Valor or Mickelson isn't quick, but uh, he's got a teammate now where if he backs off, he's going to be in real trouble, I believe. Uh, well, you have to think like that. You have to think confident. You have to think very confident in the, you know, when you're rallying and racing. You have to believe you are, well, you have to believe in your mind that you are the best. Okay, that's probably almost certainly done that we're not going to win the power stage, but uh, not the end of the world. Well, actually, no, that doesn't mean we're not going to win the power stage. It's just, it's just not going to help. Um, uh, I don't I don't know really what to say really about this... Uh, about this stage, what's going off? Um, yeah. Well, I hope you guys will enjoy this season. I know, I definitely am going to. As we, oh, I I had to slow down there because I didn't know whereabouts in particular that hairpin was, and I didn't want to go, you know, getting the car reset by going off the road. So, but we've made it to the well. We've well, we're currently near enough making it to the end of this rally Monte Carlo which we didn't last season so so big improvement here today and we've got Sweden up in the we've got suspension damage on the rear as we've lost his rear bumper so it's okay as long as that doesn't affect the engine I will be happy it's affecting the rear of the car but uh it's going to really affect some things in a minute, isn't it? So, junction, turn right. Okay, I'll be happy to take that junction. Nursing the car back to the finish now. It's not about, uh, you know, winning stages, winning points now in this uh, rally. Well, in this stage, it's about just nursing the car home to the finish. Here in stage number six for Rally Monte Carlo, season number four. It's not his fourth attempt at Monte Carlo, of course, because in WRC2 we didn't race here. It's our third attempt in Monte Carlo. I wish it would have been third time lucky. But uh, sadly it wasn't. Rally Sweden should go better, and then I'm looking forward to Mexico. I'm not going to lie. I've been good in Mexico before. So, heavy on the brakes for another hairpin. Get it, get it round there with no problems. That's nice through there. On the brakes again. Turn it in. There we go. Okay, that's nice through there as well. And I'm yet to record the Monte Carlo Grand Prix in the F1 2016 career as well, so... But this is being recorded currently, this uh, WRC 5 season. Turn in, turn in, over that, yeah, over that bump, that's nice. Left 4 minus, yes. Indeed through there. And finish, we're across the line for Raleigh Monte Carlo to be finished. And we win that stage, and we get, yeah, we, we get the three bonus points. For winning that stage, any any time gain that we've got for some points, we finish in ninth. Well, that's five points to start this championship off with. But Sebastian Ogier wins the rally ahead of Loeb and Latvala. Mickelson finished fourth, Meek in fifth, but we finished ninth. Wow! To start Rally Monte, to start the season, we've got some points. That's five points we got. So we're twenty off Ogier. So it's not that bad then. It's not that bad. So, uh, and there's, well, we're dominating the championship already in the constructors, so hit that like button down below, guys, for Rally Monte Carlo. Three stage wins here in in the first stage, of the, well, first rally of the season. Let's go on to Sweden, see if we can win there. I will see you in Sweden. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.